This morning, a solemn anniversary for the city of Tulsa, where a new memorial now commemorates the 1921 race massacre. Residents and supporters marking the moment with a march this weekend and gathering with two of the last known survivors in the place once known as Black Wall Street. Exactly 100 years ago, a white mob descended on the affluent black community, killing an estimated 300 black Tulsans and destroying almost every home and business in the 35-block area, turning entire families into refugees. Dr. Tiffany Crutcher's great-grandmother was one of them. 10,000 people were displaced at the hands of racial terror violence. And 100 years later, people are coming back home, descendants from everywhere, and so we call this homecoming. That homecoming bringing moments of reflection and sharpening the push for accountability. No one has ever been held responsible for the attack. The way to heal America is the reparations for the Tulsa descendants of this massacre. Can there be healing without repayment? I do not believe that there can be healing without uh, restitution or reparations. Without accountability, many black Tulsans worry this centennial will ring hollow. Amid the weekend's somber memorials, armed demonstrators marched through Tulsa Saturday, blocking streets as they urged black residents to take advantage of their Second Amendment rights. The anniversary comes as the country continues to grapple with race and its history. Crutcher's dream is that this weekend becomes a call to action. Is anything giving you hope? The black community in Tulsa, we don't take injustice lying down lightly. We are not afraid to stand firm on what we believe and demand better for our community. Tonight, there will be a candlelight vigil marking the start of the massacre. And tomorrow, President Biden is expected to travel here. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.